Yeah, yeah to me, it's the difference between um, money or currency and wealth, right? And mm-hmm. most people tend to think that money is wealth, right? But, <laughs> you know, money is just the stuff that we transact in, but wealth is actually the technology, the luxuries that we all take for granted that all make that make our lives comfortable right cars mm-hmm. and air conditioning and houses and shoes <laughs> yeah. and clothes right basic necessities that that basically is what civilization is all about and mm-hmm. and so you know you just throw a bunch of money at um at, at, a, at a country there they might be wealthy or they might be rich but they're not the, the wealth is not there yet the infrastructure the you know the housing the the technology mm-hmm. it's not there yet and maybe over time it will develop but that's the difference and so and so, um, yeah, what you're doing is, you know, you're, you're helping people who do have the money or, or, or the access or the means to, to, make, um, to make more money in a, in a country that is quite wealthy and has, you know, a lot of infra- infrastructure. And you can, you can du- direct it towards the people who need it without having to go through these complex, intricate, you know, bureaucracies. But, you know, another thing that it really brings to mind for me is how... How much people want to give, right? So, as an anarchist uh, and a volunteer, when I talk to people about these ideas, not only how how the state is is unnecessary, but actually how the state harms people, and mm-hmm. and so and a lot of people ask me, well, what, one common thing is, what about the poor? Who's going to take care of the poor? No welfare yeah. state, no foreign aid. Who's going to take care of the poor? Who's going to give them food and uh, housing? And to me, what it demonstrates is that people want to give, right? Mm-hmm. Because Every person that I ask, every person that I talk to, and they ask me that, I just tell, I just tell them, you just asked me that. You weren't the only one. Many other people yeah. ask me that. So obviously, there's a demand, even if there was no state forcing you <laughs> through the welfare state to donate. And, they, and by yeah. the way, forced donation, it's not, it's an oxymoron. It's called theft, right? You can't, mm-hmm, yeah. you can't force somebody to donate. It's just called <laughs> theft, right? Because if you want, donation is a, is a voluntary act, right? Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, there's a lot of people that really want to help and they have the means to help. They just don't know how, right? And so you come along and you, you, you develop this app, which gives them real um, opportunity and, and the mechanism to do so. And people jump on it. All, all it needs mm-hmm. to happen is to spread the idea. That's all mm-hmm. that needs to happen. You know, the internet, it's like the internet takes care of everything else. You guys are over there, you're on the ground and you're talking to these people and you're like, you ask them, what do you need? Mm-hmm. Right? Because yeah. it's like this guy, Tom, he's like, all right, I'm just going to send shoes over there. <laughs> yeah. Blanket the, blanket the, the place with <laughs> shoes. And you guys are like, forget the shoes. What do you need? Tell me what you need because I don't know what everybody needs. You know, everybody's yeah. in, in individual. Everybody's got individual needs and desires and and wants. Mm-hmm. So, so tell me what you need, and we're gonna get the money, and you can you can buy that or, or yeah. you know. Um, another scholar, he kind of I guess went down to to South America, and he went to some factory where you know every you know a lot of people in the united states would say you know they're being exploited it's a sweatshop you know they're paying them such low wages isn't that horrible and or 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 they're paying them let's say they're they're making them work long hours and no vacations and everything like that Mm -hmm. yeah and so they went down there and they asked the people because because all the people in the united states are like well you got to give them vacations you got to give them longer break times bigger lunches you got to give them you know longer maternity leaves and and the guy went down there and he asked a bunch of the uh, the employees down there um do you want um vacation do you want more vacation do you want more breaks do you want um Mm -hmm. you know you know let's say a, a nicer a nicer environment air conditioning you know or because if I give you all that, I'm going to have to pay you less. Yeah. Or would you rather work in the environment that you're working in now and get more money? And, mm-hmm. and can you guess what they, what they chose? <laughs> oh, yeah, more money. Right, exactly. So basically the or- idea is that you don't know what's in the mind of the individual, right? Mm-hmm. You're, you're trying to – you're assuming you know what they want. And you can't do that, right? So you yeah. basically, people just want the money and they buy whatever they think is important to them. Mm-hmm. And so when you try to – um, micromanage and assume what people want. You're becoming the little central planner, you know, the mm-hmm. little dictator in other people's yeah. lives. And it's just w- like w- what happens with Tom's shoes. The only result is inefficiency and waste. One of the questions people ask is, why is there poverty in the world? Right? Mm-hmm. I think th- that's an inaccurate question because poverty is the default state of man, right? We were mm-hmm. all born in poverty, or, you know, we came from poverty like centuries ago. Mm-hmm. In terms of the way, the way that most of humanity used to live, you know, centuries ago, is is nothing like the way pe- what, we, what we consider poor people in the United States live. Oh, for today, sure. You know, yeah. 
So, mm-hmm. so the level of poverty has really improved significantly, but there will always be people in abject poverty for, for one reason or another. But mm-hmm. the, trend, the trend is it is improving, and yeah. we should recognize that. And why, why is it improving? And mm-hmm. basically, it's when people are allowed to trade you know, and transact freely without intervention, without taxation, without regulation – you know, businesses businesses develop and they, you know, they have profits and they reinvest and they develop their manufacturing, their infrastructure, they build and, you mm-hmm. know, <clears throat> people's salaries go farther. They can purchase more because, you know, the more efficient the technology becomes, the cheaper the cost. And so people's people can buy more, right? The, the wealth mm-hmm. wealth increases. You know, this is the difference between wealth and money. And, and so, like you said, it takes, it's a multi-generational thing for a country to come out of poverty, right? You have mm-hmm. to just allow them, you give them the freedom, and, and which is exactly why I am an anarchist <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and a volunteer is because cause the state is the primary hindrance it's the it's mm-hmm. the parasite on the back of the of the host of the in, industrious people that mm-hmm. are actually doing the work the entrepreneurs you know the innovators the creators people like you who are mm-hmm. actually creating things of value that make people's lives better without relying on taxation or as most uh, volunteers would say theft 